Hello students, this is the continuation of the previous topic. Now see, as I told you that we will prove root 2 is an irrational number, root 3 is an irrational number. So here I am solving root 3 is an irrational number. After that, you try to solve root 2 is an irrational number, some other problems also related to it. Now see, we will prove root 3 is an irrational number. What we have to do, see, here we, we know one property that is if p divides a square what i am saying that if p be a prime number and if p divides a square then p divides a where a is a positive integer this is the property let me repeat again this property and that you have to remember i told you without knowing the property it's very difficult for us to solve the problem now see here the property is if p divides a square then what p divides what a where a is a positive integer now see using this property we will solve this problem look here here as we have to prove root 3 is an irrational number so for that what we have to do we will do the contradiction of this one or we will do the opposite of this one because in our previous class I told you that in mathematics we have to do something on assumption basis. So here we will assume root 3 be a what? Rational number. What we will assume? Root 3 be a rational number. And we know that if it is a rational number then it is of the form a by b. So we can write root 3 is equals to what? a by b. Now see here then what we will do we will square both the sides so here if we will square then we will get what root 3 is equals to 3 and a by b is equals to what a by b is equals to what a square by b square now see here just try to solve this we will do cross multiplication 3b square is equals to a square here we got 3b square is equals to what a square now see just now i said the property what I said, do you remember? Here, I said you that if P be a prime number and if P divides A square, then P divides A, where A is a positive integer. So here, A square is divisible by 3. So A is divisible by what? 3. Now see, as we have to prove, so again we assume or we can write A is equals to 3C for some integer C. Here we will write a is equals to 3c. Again you do the squaring. So a square is equals to 9c square. Now you see here at the place of a square what we can write? 3b square. In the place of a square what we can write? 3b square. So 3b square is equals to what? 9c square. So after solving we got b square is equals to 3c squared. Again, we will use the previous property. If b squared is divisible by 3, so b is divisible by what? 3. So, from 1 and 2, what we observe that we get 3 as a factor of what? a and b, which is contradicting. Here, from equation 1 and 2, we get 3 as a factor of a and b, which is what? Contradicting in the fact that A and B are co-primes. Here, it is contradicting the fact that A and B are co-primes. Hence, our assumption that root 3 is a rational number is false. It means our assumption is wrong. So, we can say that root 3 is an what? irrational number please you try to solve this after that on the same property you try to prove root 2 is an irrational number and again you write the next question you also prove 3 plus root 5 is an irrational number just you try to solve this if you face any problem you contact me this much for today's thank you